So, you know, guys, I talk to a lot of people. I get hit with a lot of DMs. A lot of people talk to me offline. And when going after your dream, it ain't easy. And we know that. But at some point, you got to ask yourself a question and, and you just got to make it very, very simple. At what point does this thing become as simple as life or death? No middle ground. I'm going after my dream with full force. It's as simple as living or dying. Has it become that black and white to you? Has it become to the point where it is, I am doing this all the way, 100% or I'm not? Because I know for me, I made a commitment a long time ago to do this thing. And I said I wanted to be the best at it. And the minute I said I wanted to be the best at it, life was like, Okay, let me test that. And as I'm going at this thing, and I'm trying to be the craziest and most impactful motivational speaker out there, life is going to make me earn it. Life is going to put the roadblocks and see how much are you willing to sacrifice for this thing that you say is really your dream. And I remember about two months ago, and many of y'all was right there with me. My mother got sick as I don't know what and was having an operation. And I had to make a choice. I sat there on the day of her operation and I remember my mother telling me, Sean, I'm going to do this. I'm coming out and I love you. And I told her the same thing. Yes, Ma, you coming out, and I love you. But that night, I had an IG Live to do. I wasn't sitting in the waiting room. I wasn't sitting around panicked. I didn't give any excuses. I had to show up because I made a commitment, a commitment to do something, and under no circumstances could I break it. This is what it takes to be the best. My commitment wasn't contingent on in sickness and in health. My mother had been sick for two straight years before we found out she needed open heart surgery. My commitment wasn't contingent on for better or for worse. How much worse can it get? The doctor looked us in the face and said, there's a good chance your mother ain't going to make it. She's not coming out of that surgery. It wasn't contingent on for richer or for poorer. I made a commitment to be the best. And that is exactly what I plan to do. When I'm the best, the bag is going to follow. The riches will come, but it ain't contingent on for richer or for poorer. So if I'm not making money today, I tap out and say, nah, I'm not going forward. This is what I asked for. This is what I want. And if I didn't show up on that, on that night, do you understand how disgusted my mother would have been with me? Because she knows what she gave birth to. She understands that I birthed a savage. She understands that Yes, I'm in here. This man don't know if I am dead or alive, but I raised gladiators. She raised six boys and one girl. She raised soldiers. I came up in the poorest borough of New York City, the boogie down Bronx, who was like a surrogate parent to me. She raised us to be soldiers. She raised us to be warriors. She raised us to be gladiators. And if I didn't show up, she would have been disgusted because this is who she raised us to be. Are you showing up when times get rough? Are you showing up when things ain't going your way? Or are you giving yourself excuses 
and say, I'll tackle that tomorrow. The things that you're running from, I'm running too. Some of y'all do not care. When things get a little rocky, when it's a little, you know, messed up and things are not going right, you give yourself as, uh, an excuse not to show up. Well, guess what? It ain't always going to be sunshine out there. It ain't always going to be gumdrops. Give me the pain. I want it. Yes. Give me the rain. I know it ain't always going to be sunshine. Give me the rain. I want that too. Give me the suffering. Who said this thing was going to be easy? I want it. Give me the sleepless nights. If that is what it takes to get from here to the top of that mountain, I want it. I'm not running from it. Some of y'all might be running from it. But what you're running from, I'm telling you, I'm running too. I want all the smoke. I want it all. Because I understand like 50 Cent said, either I'm going to get rich or I'm going to die trying. Because there's some things in this life that are worse than death. And some of y'all are dead men walking. What are you living for? What are you living for? How dare you be able-bodied? How dare you be in perfect health? There is somebody right now who is laying in a hospital bed and don't know if they'll be alive tomorrow and would do anything for the chance that you have today and y'all ain't going after it. How dare you? There's somebody behind prison walls right now who will never touch down on free land again and would do anything to have the opportunity to go hard and chase their dreams right now. But what are you doing with it? What are you doing with it? I understand. I understand to this moment, some people don't want it like that, but I do. And I can tell y'all, I don't play Powerball. I've never played lottery because with my luck, I just might hit it. And I want it the hard way because when I get it, I want to be able to feel it and know I worked so hard for this thing. They can't take it from me. I went through the ups and the downs, the hurdles. I felt like quitting. I heard the urge to give up, but I never ever did. I want the competition to know. Matter of fact, better yet, I want y'all to tell the competition I'm coming. I want y'all to tell the competition, I dream big and I'm coming. There's no doubt about it, I am coming. Do you have that mentality? Are you saying to yourself, I do not care? I do not, it doesn't matter to me what anybody says. It don't matter my circumstances, I'm coming. Because the way that I feel about it, I know that the competition is great. I know who they say is the best out there. But when it comes down to it, it was never supposed to be a fair fight. It was never, ever supposed to be a fair fight. But when I get there, I'm going to give them something they never seen before. I promise y'all. I'm going to give them something this world, this space, this category has never seen before. A wise man once said, death smiles at all of us. And all we can do is simply smile back. So the, this whole life, it really comes down to a simple choice. Either you get busy living or you get busy dying. And as far as I'm concerned, as far as the competition should understand, I made a commitment to my dream to be the best. Better yet, I am drunk on my dream and let them know I'm an angry drunk. You can leave this live tonight and keep doing what you was doing before it or you can get to work. You can leave this live tonight 
and you can be motivated to be a savage, to be a gladiator. Or you could say, I like what I heard and go back to playing PlayStation. The choice is up to you. But as long as I'm alive, I guarantee y'all I'm going to be a threat because I will not die a dreamer. Can you say the same? Don't let yourself die a dreamer. There is riches beyond riches in the cemetery. So many people who have had big dreams, big ideas, and took it right with them to the grave. Don't let that be you. We are movers. Get to moving. I love y'all. And I hope I said something today that inspires y'all. I hope I said something today that makes y'all want to get up and go after it. Screw the competition. They don't know what's about to hit them because they ain't never dealt with no movers. Get on them. Get up and get on them. Go harder this week than you've ever gone before. Movers, move. Now get to moving. I see y'all Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Check out that Jay Morrison interview. I love y'all. And I catch y'all on Wednesday. Don't let yourself die a dreamer. One love.